Wake up, a new day is dawning. There's beauty and happiness everywhere. Jump up, destiny's calling. You and your friends have so much to share. Swinging through life on this great adventure, the spirit of nature will see you through. There are lessons to learn about life and its mysteries. Lessons of love that are waiting for you. Look up, there's joy all around you. Nature is wondrous, but beware. The law of the jungle has a lesson for life. But you can still soar right up to the sky. Hold your head up high. Keep your courage inside. And sure as the sun and the stars up above, you will discover love. at me, huh? I'll show you it wasn't luck. Uh. I missed. Uh -oh. oh, my head. Yay! Uh. Hey! Uh. Hmm. Mowgli, you should have come to me for your lesson before going out hunting. Hmm? Hmm? But I got two of them with one shot. But you must learn to listen to the sounds in the wind. It has many secrets to tell. I didn't mean to hurt you. It's all right. Never forget, when the sound of leaves being walked on is light, it means it's a rabbit. Then the sound of twigs cracking in the underbrush means it's a baby deer. Wait Next. a minute, Baloo. I don't need any lessons, not now that I have this. But it's very important to recognize your enemies. Well, I'm not afraid of anything as long as I have this. And not even Shere Khan would dare. Mm, Mowgli. That's telling him, oh. Mowgli. Hey, Bagheera, take a look at these. I got the two of them in a single shot. Mm, that's very good, Mowgli. Bagheera, please don't interfere. I'm trying to teach Mowgli to listen to the sounds in the wind, okay? Has he told you always to approach from downwind? That way you can even fool the old-timers. And who are you calling an old-timer? I'm not calling anyone an old-timer. It's just that everyone in the jungle knows that it's not the sound, but always the smell that comes first. What? The smell doesn't come first. You have to learn about the different sounds. You teach about smell, because when you get older, you get hard of hearing. What? Are you insinuating that I'm getting hard of hearing? Mm -hmm. Now you listen, Bagheera. I want you to get this straight once and for all. I'm Mowgli's teacher and not you. Do you hear that? All I'm saying, Baloo, is that your method is old-fashioned. Mowgli should be taught using modern teaching method. You and your newfangled ideas. Mother! Akru! What's going on? 
on? There's something wrong. Mother, what have we done? I told you to leave. Now go away. Uh-oh. Mother, what's wrong? Ah. Stop, Mother. What's the matter? Mother wants us to leave the lair for no reason at all. Mother, won't you tell us why? I don't need to have a reason. Now you be on your way. From now on, you'll have to live in your own lair. Mother! Mowgli, you keep out of this. I told you. Hurry up and go. But, Mother! Do as I say, or you'll regret it. I don't understand, but if you've made up your mind, I guess we have no choice, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Akru. Goodbye, Sura. Mother, tell me what happened. Why did you chase them away? I chased them away because they're grown up now. So what if they're grown up? Why do they have to go? We're a family, aren't we? Because it's the law of the jungle. The law of the jungle? the jungle. There must be a reason. There must. Out of the way! I wasn't gonna harm your baby. I'm in a hurry. Please let me go, boy. Whoa! A loving mother, she defended her baby the way parents are supposed to. Hmm? That's the signal to assemble. Whoa! Mowgli, did Mother say anything after we left? She said it was the law, but I don't understand what she means. It's strange that she'd be so angry with us without explaining. Hey, Sura and I went hunting today. And Akru yeah. and I caught our first deer on our own. We ran straight home to tell her. Instead of praising us, she told us to leave the lair. You caught your first deer? Yes, that's it. Mother knows we're grown-up wolves now. So she wasn't angry with us. All it means is that Mother knows that it's time for Sura and me to live on our own. Well, if you're grown up, then I must be too. After all, I got two birds with one shot, didn't I? So I don't see... Shh! I have good news for all of us. According to our lookout's report, over 50 buffalo have been sighted moving into our hunting grounds. Oh, wow. The sun is still up, but we can't wait till dark. It's been a long time since we've had such a large hunt. All of you who are brave enough, come forward. <laughs> Me too. I... Sura, Akru, what are you doing here? This isn't a rabbit hunt. Today, Sura and I caught our very first deer. That's very good. You go with the chasers right up front. As of today, Sura and Akru are considered to be adult wolves. Then I am too. Mowgli, why did you come forward? This isn't just another bird hunt, you know. If you can hunt buffalo, so can I, because I'm grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Mowgli, go and sit down. Oh, is Mommy's little Mowgli a naughty boy? Enough of that, Lala. All right, but I'm sure he can't even catch a rabbit. Please, Akela, let me go in front with the chasers. I know I can do it. Mowgli. I'm grown up, too. I'm ready now. No, you're not ready, Mowgli. I am, too, Akela. All right, you can come. Fine, then. I respect your decision. But I'll prove to everyone that I'm a better hunter than he is. The matter is settled. Mowgli and Lala will set the trap.
Sura Aku, this is what we'll do. There's a calf in the middle, and to the right, there's an injured bull sitting in the grass. Those are the ones we go for. Got it! All right, here we go. <laughs> It's all your fault that we have to set the trap. Be quiet. The herd is starting to move. You don't have to tell me. I can see for myself, you know. We have the two we want. Open the path for the herd. Open the path. For the herd! Open the path for the herd! Why do they only attack the weak ones? Mowgli, didn't you hear? They said to open a path. Hmm? I'm not going to attack the weak ones. I'll get that big, strong one to prove to everyone that I'm full grown. Mowgli, we have to open a path. Get out of the way. Yeah! <laughs> I'll show you. You'll be all right now. Did we get the buffalo? No, not even one, because you disobeyed orders. Huh? Is it still bad, Mowgli? Huh? Don't worry, Lala. He'll be fine. Run along. Hmm. Who's worrying? I'm not worrying. I'll never take you hunting again as long as I live. So there. Mowgli, why did you do such a foolish thing, ignoring the rules of the hunt? I wanted to show them that I was grown up too, Mother. You're not, my little man cub. You're not grown up yet. <gasps> you are different from the rest of them. If you were covered with thick fur like the others, you wouldn't have been injured like this. Do you understand? No, I don't understand. Do you mean that just because I'm not covered in fur and I don't have any sharp fangs that I'll never be grown up? Is that it? So I'll never be allowed to hunt. It doesn't matter how hard I try. Understand. Why does the wolf pack hunt the weak and injured animals? I'm going to catch some big game all on my own. That'll show them. picked up someone's scent. Huh? Is it Mowgli? Yup, that's him. Oh, wait right here. Something big is sure to come along. Well, well, will you look who's here, if it isn't Mowgli. Tabaki, it's you. I don't like jackals, so go away. Go away and leave me alone. Don't be afraid. I see you're hurt. Oh, I'm not afraid of you. I'm out hunting and you're in my way, so get out of here. Oh, what a coincidence. I'm out hunting too. But you're a scavenger. You don't hunt. Aren't you the clever one? Yes, I'm a scavenger, but I'll make a little effort for something specially tasty. You're not a fair hunter, Tabaki. You're always sneaking around. In hunting, anything is fair. That is the law of the jungle. Ah! Oh. Um. <laughs> ah! Now I've got you where I want you. Ah! Oh! Ah! If you think I'm afraid of you, you're wrong. <laughs> you 
can't escape, you might as well give up. Oh, my side. <laughs> you this time. Now I'm really mad. What are you doing in my hunting grounds, Tabaki? I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to hunt in your grounds, Mr. Uh, Bagheera, sir. Bagheera! Mm. I heard what happened at the hunt today. You tried to show off. Mowgli! You all right? Oh, Bagheera, did you hear that Mowgli had been hurt? Or have you been following him around all day like an old worrywart? Huh? I am not following him. Whatever gave you that idea? Speaking of worry warts. Well, I'm. Uh, Mowgli isn't fully trained in the ways of the jungle, so, as a responsibility of the teacher, are you badly hurt, Mowgli? <laughs> oh, sorry to say, but it was your bad training that got Mowgli into this dreadful mess in the first place. How much of the law of the jungle have you taught him? How much is there to learn? Uh. I should have known. You haven't taught him the most important thing. Now listen, Mowgli. The first rule in the law of the jungle is the survival of the fittest. We must do nothing to endanger the survival of any species. I don't understand what you mean. Give up, Bagheera. You're talking way over his head. The survival of the fittest is a simple way of saying that in the jungle, only the strongest, healthiest, smartest members of any species can survive. And hunters must take only weak or injured animals. Strong animals have strong, healthy children, and the species will survive. But if hunters take the strongest buffaloes away, the herd will get weaker and weaker. Eventually, the herd will disappear, and then there'll be nothing left for us to hunt. So we can't take the strong ones. That's it, Mowgli. Excellent. You've learned an important lesson today. All of us here in the jungle have to learn to live in harmony with each other. You don't have to like everybody, but you have to respect them. Respect? Mm-hmm. When you respect every other creature's right to survive, you'll be grown up. Mowgli! Mowgli! Where are you, Mowgli? Sura, Apu, there you are! Ah, you're safe! Why did you run away? We were so worried, we looked everywhere for you! Mowgli... Oh, Mother! <laughs> I'll go and tell Akela he's safe. And I'll go and tell the others. Doesn't look like we're needed around here anymore. Oh, but you haven't been needed since the beginning. I got here in time to save Mowgli, you old slowpoke. Are you calling me a slowpoke? Race you. Race? You're too old to race anymore. What do you mean I'm too old? Why don't you act your age? <laughs> look who's talking. They say you can only catch small game now. What? I caught a wild boar yesterday. <laughs> Mowgli, one of these days you will have to leave and go away on your own. But not for a while yet. Not yet. No. My 
little one. Here's how to catch the smell of the jungle. First, you turn your nose upward and you find the smell in the wind. The smell of the jungle. Huh? No, that's the smell of honey. Mm. Huh? Huh? Hey, Mowgli! He tricked me again. Learning.